Hi there. The question I have today is from Ashish who asked me, is meditation the solution for everything? The premise of this question was that I usually recommend meditation in recommended meditation in some of my videos and he wanted to know why do I always recommend meditation. I must say that this question did throw me off guard because I didn't really think of it that way. Is meditation the solution for everything? Well, as a practitioner of meditation, all I can say is that it has multiple benefits. It keeps you healthy physically. Now, how does it do that? It basically reduces your blood pressure. It stabilizes your heart rate. It reduces stress. It releases good hormones and neurochemicals. It relaxes your body. It gives your muscles the necessary r and and it strengthens your immune system. That's a tall order, isn't it? Meditation also keeps you healthy mentally because it helps you control your mind, not just at the conscious level, but also with regular practice, you can control your subconscious thought. How cool is that? It gives you the ability to rewire and change beliefs about yourself. It helps you overcome fears, phobias, and all other negative nonsense that goes on in our heads. It helps you in your spiritual awakening. Meditation can also help you reach the blissful state of mind, like out-of-body spiritual experience with continued practice, of course. I haven't been there yet, but a lot of our religious texts recommend it. And on top of all these benefits, meditation can actually help you get closer to yourself. It is about you your health, your mental conditioning, and your spiritual awakening. So, is meditation a solution for everything? I don't think so. Meditation is merely a tool that can give you everything. It is a tool that will help you discover your truth. The answer to everything is, hold your breath, intention, your intention. Our intention creates our reality, said Bain Dyer. Intentions are those things, those actionable things that you can do or achieve with an aim or purpose. They are the solution for everything because without an intent, there is no action. Let's say for example, you want to, you dream of buying a fancy car. Without the actionable items, that is deciding which car to buy, securing your finances or booking a date, all these are your actionable items for you to buy that car. So if you just dream of buying a car and do nothing about it, nothing will really happen. Your dreams don't turn into reality automatically. You will have to work at it. Also, people can perceive your intentions right away, no matter what you say or do. So remember this the next time you make a commitment and you don't have any intention on keeping it. So coming back to the question, is meditation a solution for everything? No. The solution for everything is intentional living. And by intentional living, I mean to live consciously, being aware of the choices that you're making and determining the path that you're going to take. We shall cover more on intentional living all this month. But what do you think of my solution and what are your thoughts on that? Is there anything that you think is a solution for everything or is there even a solution, one single solution for everything? If you have any suggestions, questions, feedback or thoughts about intentional living or today's video, do leave it in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms I am in. If you have more information about my work or have an intention to work with me, do head to my website. The details are also given in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful time. I'll see you next week. Until then, bye. If you find this video resourceful, do hit a like button, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update from me. Thank you for watching.